Tadosh, and I would like to introduce you the game created in a scratch and controlled by Lego We Do. For this game, we have uh, this motorbike created from Lego and uh, use the distance sensor and still sensor connected to the hub. These sensors and the hub are from Lego We Do. We use distance sensor to count distance between the object before the sensor and the sensor. Uh, when we are close to the object, uh, it means that in our game we go forward with our motorbike, in other case we go backward. Then we use tilt sensor for moves to the left and to the right, and when we will press to our motorbike like this, uh, in our game motorbike will jump. So now let's show how the game looks like. Um, here we have our motorbike, then there are some objects like police cars and the roadblocks. It means that when we will crash to police car or roadblock, we will lose one life. In the beginning of the game we have three lives. During the game, uh, in the road there can be objects of the helmets, uh, and it means that when we have less than three lives and we will take this helmet, our life will rise uh, about one life. Uh, on the right side, uh, during the game, there can be some attentions about uh, rising the speed of the game. So now let's start the game. So as you can see, when I go to the front, to close to the object, my motorbike will go forward, in our case to the backward. Now we can, we can see what happens when I will go to the roadblock. And here I lost one life. But uh, before roadblock I can jump and it means I jumped across the roadblock and uh, I didn't lose any life. Unless. So now let's show what happens for example when I crash to the police car and yeah, I lost again one life. But when I'll take the object of the helmet my life will rise up about one. So now on the right side you can see the tension about the speed will rise in 100 meters, now about 50 meters. So after a while the speed will rise, like this, as you can see. When I lose all my lives, the game will be over. 